Yeah, hello. Uh, my name's Stephen Cull, uh, and I run a small sawmill uh, business. And I'm just going to talk you through the the, uh, the arrangements for for sharpening your own blades. Uh, what I've got here is what you find in tip, uh, typical workshop situations. This is a workshop here at home. We've got a sharpener and a setting machine. Um, there are many variations of these, but essentially they do uh, the, the same job. Just have a quick visual inspection of the blade. There's no point trying to sharpen a blade if the teeth have been damaged um, uh, and or or, um, uh, or wrecked in any, any way. So just having a quick quick look round. If any of the teeth have been broken off, then we want to scrap the blade. So there's a bit of bit of build up of sawdust on on the blade so we'll clean that off. Now typically the sawdust gets built up on the blade on the inside. Uh, so the first thing we do is we have to do this anyway is to invert the blade so that the blade is actually inside out. You can easily get the sawdust off the blade by just running a little uh, a little sharp edge or, or blade around. You can use a Stanley knife blade. I've got a small plain blade here we just run round and take the sawdust off the blade. Give it a quick wipe with a cloth to make sure it's nice and clean. So the blade is now clean. And because we're doing this manually with a machine with no counter on it, we have to mark the blade so that we've got a start and stop position. So just get a piece of white timber chalk, that's what I use, and mark the blade. So that tells us where to start and stop. So you put it into the setter. Now the setter uh, only sets one way. So the first process now is to set the teeth on the one side and then we turn the blade the other way around and set the teeth on the other side. We adjust the height of the, the stops here so that the blade runs through at the correct height for setting the teeth. Uh, if you set the teeth, if you have the setting point too high, uh, you're apt to snap the tips of the teeth off. If you have it much too low, then it needs too much effort to set it and you don't do it very accurately. So we set that up, and the teeth are set here by the setting point against the little test dial indicator, uh, which gives us the reading for each tooth. Now on this one, we set the, re the reading in there, it's it's showing me there's 17 thou of set on there. Now we need to increase that to 22. So we we do that. We've got there uh, 21. Well, between 20 and 22 is fine. So we do that, and the little index arm moves around because we're setting every third tooth. We go click, click, click to the next third tooth. Click, click, click to the next one, and all the way around. Now that blade's gone all the way around, it didn't take particularly long. So we've set every third tooth and now we have to invert the blade so that we are setting the other side of the, the, the teeth on the other side. Now this is set up so we've got a little ratchet on the other side which is gives me set up to position the teeth right in front of the test dial indicator for the tooth spacings in this direction. So we do the same process this way around. So that blade is now the right way round. We turned it inside out, we set one side of the blade, we turned it back the right way and set the other side of the blade. We know that the set of both of on both sides is correct, so now that can go on the sharpener.